Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting, so let's get started. We'll start off today with a paper towel and a little bit of black acrylic. And we'll come in here, and I want to block in the basic shape of a mountain, just like that. Not too big. And I want to cover this bottom part with black. Maybe there's a tree right here. We'll just kind of dab that one in. Now I want to explain what I've done. After the acrylic had dried, then I put an oil-based medium over the whole canvas, and that makes it wet so we can blend color more easily. So now we'll go into a little bit of yellow, and I want to add a sunset right up here. You don't need a lot of paint. Because of that clear medium, we can move it around. Go right over the mountain, right over the trees, with a little bit of purple on a two inch brush, we can add in the rest of the sky. We don't need too much purple, just a little bit right up here at the top. With a clean two inch brush, we can blend out this whole sky. I'm going to use big X's, and I want to destroy all these lines in here, make all the colors come together. Now I'll take a clean one inch brush through some titanium white. And right here, I want to paint a nice bright area in the sky. Maybe the sun is right behind this mountain, and you can see some of the light. Let that work out. There we are. With a clean two inch brush, we can blend out this light area. I want to grab a little bit of that color and move it down the mountain. See that? You can still see that mountain through there. But it makes it look like it's just silhouetted back there near the sun. There we go. With the fan brush and some green and purple, we can add in some trees back here. I'm using the top corner of the brush and just dropping them in. Keep these trees fairly light. They're pretty, they're pretty far away. With the one inch brush and that same color, we can tap in some bushes these bushes are very far away, so we don't need much, just, just a little bit. There we go. With the one inch brush, we can highlight these little bushes. I'm just tapping with the corner, and I'm leaving some dark at the bottom of the bushes. Now with the one inch brush, and some black and green. Let's make, let's make these into big trees up here. I had a little bit of that dark acrylic. That way I kind of had the whole painting laid out for me. So now I know exactly where I, where I want my trees. With the two inch brush and a little bit of yellow and green we can highlight this grass field back here. I'm tapping very, very lightly with that brush. With the one inch brush and some black and green, I want to underpaint some bushes here. I'm really looking more for the texture on the canvas than the color, because this is just dark. I know it's hard to see, but I am looking for the texture with some dark brown on the knife, we can add a little path right here. And I'm really looking for the texture, just like in the bushes, because it's all very dark. With some brown and white on the knife, we can add in some highlight on our path. Just letting that knife run right across. And I'm 
I'm holding it very lightly, just putting no pressure on the knife because I want all this breaking in there. Back to the one inch brush that we were highlighting with. And let's tap on some highlight to these trees. I'm going to use the corner of the brush and tap. Tap very lightly and leave a lot of the dark in the tree. There we go. When you're done with your trees, then you can tap on some highlight to the bushes. It's done really the same way. Tapping with the corner of the brush, leaving a lot of dark in the bush. Try to save as much of the dark as you can. There we go. Just tap them right on, very lightly. And vary your colors. Hit some orange and red. Don't make them all the same color. Now with the knife and some dark brown, we can add a birch tree right up here. I'm just dropping it in with the knife. There we go. This is just the dark part of the tree. We'll come back and add some bright highlight in just a second. With a little bit of white on the knife, we can highlight. Not too much, just a little bit. With the script liner, we can add in a few little limbs. Now maybe, maybe we won't have any leaves on, on these trees today. So I'll spend a little more time and put some extra detail in these limbs. Alright, well I think we're done. I had a lot of fun, I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my DVDs for sale. I'll put those links below. And thanks for watching.